everyone, it's Daniel here at GI Energy again. Today we're continuing on with our series answering the most frequently asked questions around solar and battery storage. Today we're going to be answering the question, how long will my battery last before it needs to be replaced? So how quickly will it degrade? The first thing you need to consider here is that not all batteries are created equally. In the same way as any electrical appliance, some will last longer than others. There are different chemicals used in batteries which play a big part in that, with most modern batteries being lithium iron, but there are other factors as well in terms of how the battery's been manufactured, what the quality control processes are like, and basically how reputable that manufacturer is. So in Australia, we're starting to see a battery boom where lots of home and business owners are purchasing batteries because they've become more valuable. So in some of the other videos in this series, we answer questions like, is it worth me buying a solar battery? So if you haven't looked at that, maybe check that out. But different manufacturers are starting to pop up now quite frequently. And this is the same sort of thing as we saw with solar panels. As the solar panel industry took off around the world and here in Australia around 2009 and 10, there was a huge amount of new manufacturers popped up. This is a good thing because it drives down prices through competition, but it can be a bad thing if you purchase a battery from a new manufacturer that isn't gonna stand the test of time. So a statistic which is quite alarming is if you compare the CEC, Clean Energy Council, list of approved solar panels in 2013 compared to 2020, you will have seen that there was an 83% drop off of companies either going out of business or no longer serving the Australian market. There is some concern that we're gonna see a similar trend with batteries. So a lot of these new manufacturers will pop up and possibly not be around to honor warranties if your battery does degrade quicker than it's supposed to within that warranty period. So you'll need to do your due diligence there on the manufacturer and make sure that you choose a reputable manufacturer that you believe is gonna be around, stand the test of time, and honor that warranty if it needs to be honored. Most batteries now will come with a 10 year warranty. So it's a very long period of time that you want that company to be able to support you for. Secondly, it's uh, how the battery is used. So the most commonly uh, used terminology here and the easiest way to explain this is with battery cycles. If your battery is used once a day, charged and discharged, that's essentially one cycle. If you're doing that and your neighbor is charging and discharging their battery two times a day, then your battery is gonna last longer than theirs because you're having less cycles with that battery. When you look at your 10 year warranty, a lot of them will also have maximum amount of cycles allowed in that time frame. So you'll need to have a look through that and maybe get some advice from who's installing the battery for you because not all warranties are the same. And if you are cycling your battery more frequently, your warranty may expire before the end of that 10 year period. So batteries that are cycled less will basically last longer. The third thing to consider is where that battery is installed. Essentially, a battery and a battery management system is quite a complex electrical device. And as with all electrical appliances, if they're installed correctly and installed in a location away from the elements, they're going to last longer. So it's not just the chemicals inside the battery, it's also the technology around that, the battery management system, even things like the enclosure, if they're exposed to the elements, they're not gonna last as long and they're gonna to have to be replaced more frequently than a battery that was installed in a more favorable location. So it's probably important also to note that with most batteries, unless there's some kind of critical failure, usually you don't go from having a battery that's operating at 100% right down to 10, 20 or 30% very quickly. It's more of a gradual drop off. So if you do have a good quality lithium battery installed with a reputable 10 year warranty, it doesn't mean that at the end of that 10 year period, all of a sudden your battery is going to be completely useless. It just means that it's not going to be anywhere near as valuable to you as it was from day one because of that natural degradation over time. So if you do install a good quality battery with a 10 year warranty and you're adhering to the warranty in terms of the amount of cycles, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have to replace that warranty right after gonna have to replace the battery right after that warranty expires. You will still get some life out of that battery, but you just need to be aware that it's gonna be continuing to degrade. I hope this has been helpful. We do have lots of other videos answering the most commonly asked questions around battery storage. So please check those out. If we've missed anything, let us know. We'll quite happily knock up a video and answer that question. Thanks for watching and hopefully you catch you on the next video.